Since the horrific events that happened to the Florida game on Saturday night against LSU, Marco Wilson chucking the shoe, basically throwing away Florida's playoff hopes, the Heisman race has opened up so much since then as Kyle Trask has dropped from the lead for the Heisman favorite right now. Right now it's Mac Jones, but just behind him is the guy that I'm going to be pulling for and a guy that I think a lot of you should be pulling for, especially if you're an Alabama fan, Devontae Smith. Let's get a wide receiver, the Heisman, this year. In a year that's been so crazy, someone who has been so consistent over the last bunch of years is a guy named Devontae Smith. This guy is an absolute beast, I'm telling you. Give this guy the Heisman, and I'm going to tell you why I think Devontae Smith should win the Heisman. So just going off on what was before this weekend, Kyle Trask looked like he had the Heisman locked up. He as long All he had to do was beat LSU and then put up a good game against Alabama. I didn't even think he had to win that game against Alabama to be able to win the uh, Heisman. Just go up and put up a decent fight against Alabama and you were going to walk away with the Heisman. Losing to LSU hurt his resume for the Heisman, but also his performance in that game. Like I think he threw three interceptions or something in that game. Yes, some of them were terrible, like the one that bounced off of the Florida uh, receiver's hands, hit LSU's player in the face, Mac, while, while he's in the air, uh, jumping over the sideline, then goes back to the guy who's barely in bounds, just on his knees, to reflects right to him. So I think that that really, really hurt Kyle Trask in this Heisman race. And I think that he's fallen out unless he goes up and puts together some crazy performance against Alabama and Alabama ends up uh, and Florida ends up winning the SEC championship story. I think that he could still win it, that he still would have a pretty good chance, but the predictions and everything right now are favoring Alabama. I'm probably going to take Alabama in this game. I'll have my prediction for that game coming up soon. Alabama looks like the clear favorite right now, especially after a very poor performance by LSU, and Alabama just is rolling over teams right now. They had a very good game against Arkansas this week, and Devontae Smith, this guy's been lights out for so many games, so many games in a row. This guy's been lights out, and I just want to talk about why I think he should be Heisman. So right now, the two favorites are, the favorite right now is no one other than, of course, Alabama quarterback Mac Jones, and then right under him is Devontae Smith in the Vegas odds right now. Mac Jones, yes, he's done. He's had an amazing season. By far the best stats out of any quarterback this season. Maybe Kyle Trask, you could argue, but you look at the record, 10 and 0 is better than 8 and 2, so he's ultimately led his team to more wins than Kyle Trask has, which I think winning should play a big part in how the Heisman voters or whatever go into picking who's going to win the Heisman. Mac Jones has put up 3,321 yards this season, 27 touchdowns for three interceptions. That's a good season, like no question about it. Joe Burrow put up some crazy number of touchdowns last season. I can't remember the exact number. I think it might have been 60 on the dot or something like that. But obviously, this is a shortened season. You have one of the best running backs in college football, Najee Harris, who's obviously going to take a lot to the house. It's not like one of the reasons that Kyle Trask's his touchdowns are so much higher than Mac Jones right now is because the amount of passing attack that Florida does and the limited amount of rushing game that Florida has when you have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield to still be able to throw 27 touchdowns this season, even when you know that the offense is still going to use Najee Harris a ton to try to get in the end zone is pretty, pretty impressive for Mac Jones. So don't get me wrong. Mac Jones, an amazing season. He was obviously the guy delivering the ball to Devonte Smith this whole time. But I just want to go into Devontae's stats and everything. So let's look at his stats this season. He has 83 receptions for 1,327 yards, 15 touchdowns, that's receiving. And then on top of that, he has three rushing attempts for 11 yards and one touchdown. And he also has one punt return touchdown. So that is a total of 17 touchdowns for Devontae Smith this season. 1,327 yards, 83 receptions. Now I just want to look at their two different comparisons I want to show up here. So the first one I'm going to do is compare it to, I'm pretty sure he was a Heisman runner-up at Alabama. The last wide receiver who's probably closest to winning the Heisman was Amari Cooper, wide receiver out of Alabama, who's obviously now on the Dallas Cowboys, got drafted by the Oakland Raiders, or now the Las Vegas Raiders, then got traded to Dallas, and he's having a great career in the NFL so far. That season, 
In 14 games, he went 124 receptions for 1,727 yards for 16 touchdowns. He had no rushing and he had no special team touchdowns. So, straight off the bat, yes, Amari Cooper's stats right now look a lot better. Even though Devontae has more touchdowns, Amari Cooper has more receiving yards and he has more receptions. Devontae should have four games left. Like, SEC Championship... Wait, never not 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 four. Never mind. He ha- should have three games left. SEC championship. You'll have playoff game number one, and then expecting everything goes to plan playoff game number two. I don't know who's going to beat Alabama this season. They have shown that they are by far the most consistent and best team in the NFL right now. I did the math. Devontae has more receiving yards a game than Amari Cooper does. Amari Cooper, I think it was averaged at 123 uh, receiving yards per game, while Devontae's at 130 right now. The receptions per game, I'm not so sure, about 124 right now, and Devontae has 83. It's it's very close. Like, the comparison is very, very close. You're obviously not going to get a proper amount because Amari Cooper did have extra games. He's going to have at least one more game than Devontae Smith depending on if everything goes well I think Alabama has a maximum of three games coming up for them uh yeah they no matter what the maximum is three but I also think the minimum is three I see them playing three games in the future obviously minimum is two you'll have the Florida game and then playoff should be it should be a playoff game but if worst comes to worst and Alabama loses like 150 to nothing they'll get put in a bowl game which Devontae will have another game to play so you're going to have that, even though the Heisman, never mind, the Heisman gets chosen before the playoffs. So that doesn't really, you just look at the comparison at the games right now. The Heisman's going to come down to this game against Florida for Devontae Smith. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he could go out there. If he goes out there, and I'm going to ballpark it at, if he goes out there and catches three, two or even two, if Devontae goes out there and catches two or three of, let's say, Mac Jones's four touchdown passes, I'd give him the Heisman, in my opinion. I think that Devontae Smith has shown college football that he is the best player in college football this season just because of the crazy stats that he's been able to put up each and every game. Like, let's go into his game log real quick to just check out some of these games. So the most recent game against Arkansas. Crap, I got to add on. ESPN. That's why sometimes I don't like using these ESPN stats because they always have the pop-up ads and everything. Last game, obviously, it was a bit of an outlier. Three receptions for 22 yards. After that, LSU, eight receptions for 231 yards. Auburn, seven receptions for 171. Kentucky, nine receptions for 144. Mississippi State, 11 receptions for 203. And in that game, he caught four touchdowns. The LSU one, he got three. Against Tennessee, 7 receptions for 73 yards. Georgia, 11 receptions for 167. Ole Miss, 164 yards, 13 receptions. And then he had two slow games to start. He had 6 receptions for 63 against Texas A&M. And then 8 for 89 against Missouri. Those are lights out numbers. And I know how hard it is to win the Heisman as a wide receiver. Like It is so hard, especially in such a QB favored world right now. Being a QB helps so much because you're obviously going to have the more impressive stats. Your stats are going to be in the thousands and stuff like that. Well, Devontae has his receiving yards in up in the thousands. His touchdowns, yes, the quarterbacks are always going to look better because they're going to have at least 30-plus. To be able to win the Heisman, you need to have 30, 40-plus touchdowns. Devontae has 17 right now. If he reaches that 20 mark, puts up 20 in a season maybe over 1,500 yards in just 10 games and maybe 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 receptions. I think that does it enough because like, here's another stat that I'm going to bring up. How Devontae Smith has done against compared to the last two other Heisman winners at the wide receiver position. First up, Tim Brown, 39 receptions, 146 yards for seven total touchdowns, seven And then Desmond Howard, 62 receptions, 985 yards for 23 total touchdowns. So obviously Howard's beating him in the touchdown race right now. I still think Devontae, especially with three games left, I know that the Heisman's going to be awarded before then, but I think Devontae could easily get six touchdowns in the next three game all he has to do is average two a game he's probably he's basically been doing that he's what has he caught he's caught one and a half touchdowns per game he has 15 touchdowns receiving 
uh, out of 10 games, so that's 1.5. If you take his special teams and his rushing, that'll put you at a 1.7 average touchdowns per game for Devontae Smith. That's pretty good. That's pretty good in my opinion. He's probably he's reaching that two touchdowns a game point and the last bunch of games. Like he's had his big bulk of the season. All of his touchdowns have come in the second half. Like the first half, you look at his first five games, no touchdowns, one touchdown, one touchdown, two touchdowns, no touchdowns. And then the last ones you have four, two, two, three, and then nothing against Arkansas. But he did have the punt return against Arkansas. So He's been hot at the end of the season, which is the right time to get hot. You'd rather get hot at the end of the season than at the beginning. It shows a lot more for the Heisman because it's going to be, it's just closer to the time they choose it. So that's going to help Devontae's case a lot, in my opinion. So I, I, I it's going to be so hard. It, it's going to be hard for a wide receiver to win. But I just wanted to come out here and talk about Devontae Smith and pitch my case for why this guy should be Heisman, just because. If Kyle Trask isn't going to win, yes, Mac Jones has good stats, but Devontae's caught for more than half of Mac Jones' touchdowns this year. Like, Mac Jones has 27 touchdowns, uh, and Devontae Smith has 15. That's more than 50. That's like 55% of Mac Jones' touchdowns are caught by Devontae Smith. You look at the yards, Devontae Smith is caught about around even more than, he's at like 38% or something like that of total yards thrown by Mac Jones. That's how much he's caught, and just, come on, like, how many completions has Mac had this year? 284, and Devontae's caught 83 of those, so that means that puts you, again, just above a third, I think, that Devontae has caught for Mac Jones, so he's the main target of this Alabama team, especially since Jalen Waddles had to gone out, and you look at everyone on this team, just look at how impressive the players are on this team. Yeah, Jalen Waddle, I just mentioned it. You have Najee Harris in the backfield, who's obviously going to be used a lot. You have a freshman named John Mechie, who's absolutely stepped up this year, and I think he's a real bright spot for Alabama football coming up. Devontae has still been able to put up these crazy numbers in the SEC, in a 10-game season, in a season where nothing is guaranteed. COVID, you're not guaranteed to play the next game all the time because you know never know when someone in your locker room is going to test positive. Just so much ifs in this season, and for what he's put up, Devonte Smith has my Heisman vote. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Alabama fans, because if you're watching this, you're probably an Alabama fan. I want to hear down below who you want to win. If you had to choose between Mac or you had to choose between Devonte, tell me who you'd want to win. I'm a huge fan. Wide receiver is probably my favorite position in all of college football. So I'm always going to root for the wide receiver. If there's a chance for a, another position player other than quarterback to win the Heisman, I'm going to cheer for them, and that's what I'm going to do here. My vote is going to Devontae Smith. So thank you for watching. Like down below. Comment anything about college football. Subscribe, and thank you for watching, and come back next time.